This is going to be the last video before the trial. I'm just going to bring everyone up to speed on the situation. I know that I haven't been posting much. Uh, the trials took up a lot of my time and I just kind of don't have it in me right now to be funny. I'm just going to give answers to questions that I'm getting asked the most. The trial will be happening on 22nd of May at Airdrie Sheriff Court. Do not turn up and fucking protest. Protests literally accomplish nothing in this country and all it will do is piss the judge off and I don't want to piss the judge off. My lawyer is a public defender that I got through legal aid because I'm really fucking poor. Uh, the guy seems like he really knows what he's doing so I have confidence in him. The crime that I'm being charged with is hate crime for the Nazi pug video and the maximum sentence that I could receive for this is 12 months in prison. As for a not guilty verdict, I just don't think that's going to happen. I have a really, really strong feeling that the outcome of this trial has already been decided and no matter how much we refute all of the allegations put against me, the outcome is still going to be the same. I know a lot of people want to help. As far as money goes, I'm getting by. And even though my uh, legal aid application hasn't actually been accepted yet, my lawyer says that he's confident it will be. So hopefully I have nothing to worry about on that front. Lawyers are fucking expensive. I have a lot of Jewish people saying that they want to help out by making videos and doing character references and stuff like that for me to help with the trial. But the only people whose opinions would be considered is Scottish Jews from within the Jewish community in Scotland. It's something to do with jurisdiction, so any Jews living outside of Scotland, nothing they say or do will be taken into consideration. It would only be Jews from within Scotland. And unfortunately, I don't know any Jews in Scotland. All of my Jewish fans and subscribers all live outside of Scotland, so honestly, thanks very much for wanting to help, but unfortunately, nothing you put forward would be considered in a Scottish court. The trial could last for one day, a few days, a week, a few weeks. We just don't know. It's just a case of we just need to wait and see what happens. Now, despite the fact that I know what the video was about, pretty much that every member of the public knows what the video was about, and the entire internet community know what the fucking video was about, I just still want to make things abundantly clear for a few people who still don't seem to get it. This video was a joke to upset my girlfriend, not to encourage anti-Semitism or encourage hatred towards Jewish people. That is a fact. And the reason that this trial is happening is to dispute that fact. And when you start disputing facts, it never leads anywhere good. When people watch the video, I want them to laugh. I don't want them to be offended. I don't want them to think that I find the Holocaust personally funny. I just wanted them to realise that here is a cute little adorable dog. My girlfriend loves this dog. I'm going to make the dog react to an absolutely vulgar phrase in order to cause upsetment to my girlfriend. That was the point of this. That was the entire purpose of the video. I was trying to upset my girlfriend, not Jewish people. And a lot of the people that are turning up at this trial are trying to say that I was trying to be an anti-Semite, I'm trying to encourage anti-Semitism, I'm trying to normalise Nazism and all that other stuff. When none of that at all is true. Despite the fact that I have openly and publicly slammed Nazi ideology, Nazis themselves and even totally had a great great time arguing with those fucking retarded holocaust deniers on Twitter, I'm still being accused of being an anti-Semite. The way I feel about Nazism and anti-Semitism is abundantly clear. I hate it. I don't like it. It has no place in modern society. It needs to fuck off. So if I'm actually sentenced to prison, that will be a sign that our country has taken a step down a very, very dark path where people can actually spend time in prison for comedy. And we all know the destination at the end of that path is not a very good one. So if I am jailed, I'll do my time, I'll keep my head up, and then when I get out, I'll come back to YouTube, and I'll try and rebuild my life from there. I will never be able to get a job again because having hate crime on your criminal record is 
basically the courts making sure that you will be permanently unemployed for the rest of your life. So I'll need to look into other ways of making money, probably starting my own business. As for everyone who has subscribed, let me get a wee bit gay for a second and say thanks very much for all your help. To everyone that subscribed to the channel, subscribed to me on Patreon, wrote letters to their MPs, done email campaigns, all that stuff. You've all been brilliant and thanks very much for supporting me. If this does go south, I want everyone to keep fighting for free speech. We have a right to express ourselves, make jokes, discuss ideas and convey opinions, no matter what they are and no matter who we are. Anyone who opposes that is an enemy of freedom. And anyone who's an enemy of freedom cannot be allowed to succeed. They seek to only benefit themselves and shape the world in the way that they want and they don't care whether or not it benefits society as a whole. They only care about themselves. We can't let them win. Anyway, I'll see you on the other side. I just don't understand how no one has, there's, there's no rational thinking involved in the administration and the, and the people that are implementing these ideas. I just don't understand how it gets to the point well, where... Well, things get to terrible places one tiny step at a time. You know, if I encroach, I, if I encroach on you and I'm sophisticated about it, I'm going to encroach two millimeters. I'm going to encroach right to the point where you start, start to protest. Then I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to wait. Then you're going to calm down. Then I'm going to encroach again right to the point where you protest. Then I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to wait. And I'm just going to do that forever. And before you know it, you're going to be back three miles from where you started and you'll have done it one step at a time. And then you'll go, oh, how'd I get here? And the answer was, well, I pushed you a little farther than you should have gone and you agreed. And so then I pushed you a little farther than you should have gone again and you agreed.